Let me share with you a tricky question from the test. I have confidence, though, that you might figure out the answer. Here's the question. Which of the following figures comes next in the sequence? And you present it with the sequence of five figures, and figure number five is missing. You have four different choices to choose from. Choices A, B, C, and D. Do you see the answer? Give yourself 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can come up with the solution on your own. Did you figure out the answer? Let's continue to see how we can solve this challenge and get to the correct solution together. As you're probably well aware, there is always a solution to any challenge. And to figure out the solution for this particular problem, you need to look for patterns. There are three patterns present here in this particular question. Pattern number one is that smaller inside square is only present in every other box. So if you look at the squares one, three, and five, they do not have the smaller inside box and squares two and four do have it. There is a second pattern here as well. The color of the bigger square depends on the color of the smaller inside square present in the previous figure. So even though there is no small square in the figure number one, you can take an imaginary square and this is what will drive the color of the square number two. Then there is a small square in the figure number two and you take the black color of this square and this is what will drive the color of the square three and so on and so forth. The pattern number three is the pattern of straight lines. And you see that on the background, there is a straight line here. And the straight line is present in every figure. If you look closely, you will see that the straight line rotates clockwise. So based on this information, you can see that the next square should only contain solid blue square without inside square and straight line following the sequence. This leads us to correct answer for this particular question being the choice A. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Thanks for watching. I encourage you to check out our daily question challenge in the community section of this channel. I also recommend that you check downloads in the description section of this video. Please also check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. I would encourage you to share this video with other people that might be looking for the job. This will help them to get prepared and pass assessment test faster. Please consider subscribing and following this channel. We have community of great people helping each other to get ready and pass the test. Please leave questions, comments, or suggestions in the comment section of this video. And all the best on your interview and assessment test. Thanks for watching.